Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make that uh, blender pot. Uh, just to show you the difference first, this is a regular blender pot. Maybe you use for like a jazz bass where you're able to pan between the two pickups, and then there's a center detent where it stops in the middle um, where you're balancing both of them. The only problem with using this one, as I've said, is that it's going to have a memory. So if you're in the, if you're panned mostly to the bridge pickup, whether you're selected on the bridge pickup or the neck pickup, you're still going to have mostly the bridge pickup. But this does give you the chance of panning between the two pickups more so than the blender pot that I'm I'm going to show you how to make. Um, I'm not sure if it's this, I'm assuming it's the same as the uh, as the, uh, the Fralin uh, blend pot, which um, all you need. Well, I'll show you the different stuff you're going to need. You're going to need some sort of uh, needle nose pliers helps. I've got these. I actually usually use. This this is a set from Home Depot. It's worth buying if you're doing a lot of stuff. It's got the clippers and these tiny little needle nose pliers. But any needle nose is going to help. Either a screwdriver or some sort of a pen blade, because uh, you need to pry up the little flaps on the pot. And you usually use a screwdriver to push up on it. Depending on what brand you have, you may be able to just use a screwdriver and push up on it, and then grasp the rest of it with the pliers. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Um, if you are using a pen blade, even the blade on this or something like that, you got one of these. Uh, because it's not a not not it's not a locking blade. You want to be careful because just by putting pressure on it, you don't want the thing to close on your finger. Um, you use these things, that can happen. Anyways, um, the other thing you're gonna need is either utility knife. Uh, probably an exacto knife would probably help too because you're going to need that to scrape off the area. Uh, trying to get a small file or a piece of sandpaper into there is just it's really difficult as possible but it's just a lot easier if you have a regular box cutter with a decently fresh blade in there or an exacto knife with exacto blade um, will also work. Um, other optional stuff you might want is um, this is just some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. Uh, Q-tip somewhere. Uh, this is some clear nail polish, uh, either some regular nail polish or some regular model paint. Okay, so the reason why you want the, um, the paint or something like that is just to create even more insulation on the um, part where you're going to be scraping away. You can use either a 500 or 200, probably even a thousand pop would probably work too. I didn't notice that much of a difference between uh, the taper because basically the way this works is you are creating a short circuit between the bridge and the neck pickup and um, so you're going to you're gonna have to wire in a master tone switch which mine is, is a TBX with a special modification to be a treble cut and a bass cut but just look up the schematic for a Telecaster or a P-Bay something that has one volume and one tone and you'll see how to wire it up but most selector switches are either this type, or that, and you're only using half of it. You usually connect the two. Uh, there's the one going across here because the four is one, uh, there's three different positions, and then one is like the output of it. So you're only going to be using half of the switch, whichever half doesn't really matter. Um, you can use either 500k or 250k. The next thing you want to do is. Um, you're gonna open up. You're gonna open up the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This has already been done, and you want to do want to write on it, blender or something like that. Um, and the main difference is on how you do it is if you want it as it's originally wired, which is to when it's open at the ten position, that it's the pickup is gonna be as selected. So if you're in the bridge position, the bridge pickup when it's all the way up at ten, when it's at ten, you switch to the neck getting the neck position um, and then when you roll it off you're rolling it off to increase the blend you're blending in the other one and the maximum is where you've got both of them balanced you're not able to pan like the other blender pot um, also like if you're going to wire the blender pot basically you'd wire the two pickups into this instead of the switch instead of the switch and wire the output to both the bridge and um, neck position on the on the selector on the uh, um, pickup switch so that you're basically doing it that way. Um, 
give me a question, just email me about that. But the way this works is you're basically creating a short circuit on the connections on the switch itself. So you're going to hook everything up normally where the pickups are coming in, and then you're going to add two wires from here onto the switch for the bridge and the um, thing. So you're creating a short circuit. Okay, so now we're going to actually make the um, make the pot. So you use a pen blade or screwdriver to pry these four tabs. I like to pry them up first, and then get the rest with the pliers. So I like to I like to turn it all the way to the left because that's the one. Uh, well, I should turn turn it to the right. Um, pop it out of there, and I'm going to do this in the standard configuration where at number ten you're getting the single pickup. And this is what I'm talking about the higher quality pot. See how there's it's a full arm that's making contact. There's just a little bent portion in the middle versus these other um, ones that just have a little single arm single arm on there make some contact point. So when that comes off the track, I move it back on there. Anyways, it does make it harder to scrape it off because there's less of an area to get to. But basically, what you're going to be scraping off is just this whole area that goes to this arm. This focusing is terrible. This, that whole area underneath there where the wiper would make contact. So you have to adjust this here, try to get a good, good angle on it, and use either a, an exacto knife or utility knife like this. And you're going to have to do it at an angle. All you're going to do is just scrape off the contact point so you're getting down to this circuit board material. Um, just kind of go back and forth with it. 